So, Venus, you said that you knew that this was something that you wanted to experience in your personal life. How did you end up turning this into a career path? It has been such an accidental success. <laughs> really, it's a weird story, but because um, it was not purposely set out to be like that. I, After I met my first cuck boyfriend, I started blogging. I'd never read a blog before or written one before, but I just felt the need to like describe my experience and hopefully so that other women could be like, oh, that's, I didn't know that existed. So I started blogging and I did that for like a couple of years. And I remember somebody asked me to be on their podcast and I was like terrified. I'm like, I'm not an expert. I don't know. And then, um, so during that time, I ended up being a guest on several podcasts. I kept blogging. I was working full time in my day job, all that sort of stuff. And I was not monetizing anything at that time. And I really didn't want to. I, I just wanted to share my story. That was it. Um, and so it wasn't until I think, I don't know, four years after that, that I realized I was not, I was really not reaching women. I think my audience for the blog, I found out was like 96% men. So I was like, damn it. <laughs> I mean, it's That's great. literally I, exactly my demographic for the show, by the way. <laughs> right? So I was just like, oh, for fuck's sakes. Like I just, where are these women? Like I need to be able to reach them. And um, not that I, you know, mind having the guys listen in or watch or listen or whatever. I like, obviously I like that, but um, I, I really wanted to reach women. So actually it was so random. Um, this guy who follows me on Twitter, I don't know him very well. He just sent me a DM and he was like, you should do a podcast. And I was like, uh, no, that sounds hard. And then he sent me this, like, how to start your own podcast link. And I was like, like wow, the oh. bar of entry is actually very low. Yeah, I'm reading <laughs> Anyone could have a podcast. Yeah, I was like, I might be able to do this. But I'd been a guest on other people's shows, so I knew there was, like, equipment and shit like that, and I didn't know how to do that. So thank God for YouTube taught me everything I needed to know. <laughs> oh my but, God, amen to that. Yeah, but – uh, five days later, after I decided I was going to do it, five days later, I launched my show <laughs> and it was just me. I didn't have guests. And I just talked about cuckolding and I didn't know anybody was listening for the longest time. I did it for almost a year and didn't know anybody was listening. I got my, my stats from my platform and I didn't know what to compare it to. So I was like, is that good? Like, I don't know. It wasn't until uh, like a year of doing the show that I finally got other stats and I looked at it and I was like, oh, damn, there's actually a lot of people listening. <laughs> and so I had no idea. And I was like, oh, my God. And then I started a, a Patreon so people could support me. And that was the first time I monetized it. And I really honestly didn't feel comfortable with that. But it took me like a year until I felt comfortable with actually accepting money for for doing this. And so then I... I was like, well, I, I'm going to take a chance and quit my day job. And that was a big decision for me because mm -hmm. um, I had been in my career for like 18 years. And I was like, well, fuck, I'm just going to do it. So <laughs> then I then I, I stopped doing that. I ended up full time working on the podcast and I have not looked back since. It's been just so much fun. The podcast ke keeps growing and growing. Like I checked it today. I can't even believe it. It's in the top 0.5% in the fucking world. I'm like, how did that happen? My little show. I'm just talking about cuckolding. <laughs> so it's popular. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. So how often do you put out episodes? Every two weeks. And then... I mean, how, like, what do you, what is each show like? Is it, do you have guests on some? Is it somewhere you just talk? Like, how do you, because this is a pretty niche experience. So like, how do you find the material to have a bi-weekly podcast about it? Like, what do yeah, you, yeah, that's, what do you, explore? in the beginning, I was like, what, how, how, how am I going to not run out of stuff? Like, I don't know how I'm yeah. going to do this. And, um, but it's been great. I have not run out of material at all. <laughs> Um, I have, I did eventually after the first year start bringing on guests, which I was terrified because I'm like, it actually takes a lot of skill to be the host. And so, um, but I'm better at it now and I've had some really great guests on the show. So that's been fun, but I also do do shows where it's just me talking. I'll talk about various things like, you know, some are fun things like ultimate cuckolding fantasies and some really tackle 
the tough things like that incredible amount of shame and guilt and fear that a lot of cucks feel about for wanting this kind of relationship. So diving into stuff like that. So it's really, it's a myriad of topics 